Hi, my name is Ramna. My personal blog is .netiq.com. Uh, if you want to receive my latest videos and updates on your Facebook or Google Plus account, please go to the .netiq.com. Right side you can see a Facebook like button. If you click on the like button, you will start receiving my latest videos updates on your Facebook wall. The same thing if you click on the join this site button, you will get the updates on your Google Plus. Yeah, coming to today's topic, iQueryable versus iEnumerable versus iList. I can say these are the three options you have to deal the same situation. But which one is the right one? To pick the right option is the important. By chance, if you pick the wrong one, definitely there is a performance impact. So first we need to know what exactly each one do then we can pick the right one depends upon the situation so if you see this diagram like you know uh, uh, video diagram i enumerable is the base interface i list and i queryable are inherited the i enumerable interface that means i list and i queryable will do whatever i enumerable will do on top of that additionally they do their own functionality iQueryable do that it has some its own functionality at the same time iList will do it has its own functionality so if we can identify what exactly the iQueryable do additional than i enumerable and iList do what more than what i um, more than i enumerable then we can easily identify what to use when to use yeah For, uh, straight away i'll go to show you one example and after that I'll come to the screen. Uh, I have a employee DB. It has only employee details table, uh, employee ID, name and address. Uh, I'm using the entity framework. So this is my EDMX uh, file. Since it has uh, only one table and uh, uh, not much it has. But I'm trying to compare here the I enumerable and I queryable. These two are the most of the time debate goes on these two when to use uh, i enumerable and when to use the i queryable. Uh, so if you see this, this is my object contest class. Like, and uh, I have a one example for i enumerable and one example for i queryable. If you compare side by side, see exact the same query, everything is same. See, only difference is here I'm uh, my uh, return type is i enumerable of employee details. Here the iQueryable of employee details, but other than that, if you compare, everything is same. I'm just here. What I'm trying to do is I'm I'm trying to find the employee's name which contains the R A letter, capital R and small A. I'm looking for the all the employee employees name whose name has the R A letters. These two letters. I'm trying to pick those records. Here here. Both, see both the queries there is no single difference except the return I am just uh, um, assigning it uh, the result in uh, i enumerable of employee details here I am assigning it in i queryable of uh, employee details and here uh, after get after the getting assigned to this I am just taking the top take one record it's uh, like take one take here the take is nothing but top one select top one from uh, employee details uh, take 10 means a top 10. Basically, take is nothing but a top keyword in our T SQL when you T SQL. So, the same thing here also I am writing this exactly the same. Only thing is here it is in I queryable and here it is in I enumerable. So, then what is the difference? How you know that uh, which one is doing the right? When you are dealing with this, basically you are dealing with the database. So, when you are dealing with the database, this query is going to be this link query is going to convert it into a SQL query and executing at the SQL server side. If you can see what exactly it is doing at the SQL means how it is converting and what exactly the query is going to run at the background SQL server, then we can say easily which query is the efficient and which one is the efficient. So in my programs, say a programs class, I created instance for the DB operation that class and I'm just calling the first enumerable example, enumerable example. So I commented the queryable example before that, I am going to start a profiler. It's basically, I am using a SQL Express. Uh, SQL Express. Uh, here, if you see, there is a 
option yeah monitor option activity monitor click on that and uh, if you just click on the processes and after i run this you can see um, additional records over there see i got a record count one because the uh, you, you mentioned it's a take one take one means top one obviously it returns the returns the only one record and this is the latest record so cl right click and click on the details if you see the query is select star from where exactly the aria letter recording matching that means it's a it is adding the where condition but when you after that you are uh, you are doing one more operation like take off the first one record take one record you are not seeing any top keyword here i'll put it in new query that i can see did you see any top one record no the inm rule what we are doing is we are getting the all the records where it's matching with the ra means name if name is contains the ra let ra two letters it is getting all the records after receiving all the records then it is uh, taking the one record from there means it is getting the collection of all the records and uh, after receiving the collection then on top of that it is picking one record from your in process collection object li collection list so then you we will run the other example and see what exactly the query it is generating i am commenting here this one i am taking out this one okay when you run this see this is a from a quite queryable example count one obviously you will get a one because you are taking only one record even it returns uh, means you are criteria matches uh, eight or nine records but you are since you specified as a take one that means your top one you are taking one record so that's why your count is going to be one so coming to the monitor yeah these are the latest record so if you see the details not this one sorry oh man this is not the one yes this is the one actual query and uh, just copying and pa pasting in uh, sorry i am closing this i am going to use it yes i'll compare the both the queries side by side uh, this is the i enumerable generated this is the bottom one is generated by uh, i queryable if you see uh, in your example you are doing two things like if you go to the i queryable i'll show you what exactly we are doing the first in, in this example what we are doing is we are just trying to filter the uh, records employee records which the name contains aria letter that is the one operation and the another thing is after you filter you are taking the top one record that is another action the third one is you are trying to find the count how what is the count of your uh, ultimately employee details collection has these are the three things you are doing one is filtering the records and the second thing is taking the top one record and third is the count these three so all these three when it comes to execution all these three is added in your query sql query that means you are generating a query whatever you want you are making as a expression and you are generating a, a final expression and passing to the sql server so here this is a definitely when you are dealing with a data means database sql server or any other data a framework which is implemented by iqueryable definitely iqueryable is the really really useful because it directly it, it wait for till what are the operations you want to do it wait till the end and it generate the expression it uh, generate the ultimate the final query and it execute that query at the db side If coming to the uh, enumeration enumeration is like you know it's first the first action itself it goes to execute with the db and it pick the all the records in a in memory collection and it's on top of the in memory collection it start applying the uh, next consequent uh, uh, operation so what it does is it just it's a uh, first it pick the records from the db uh, where the name is containing the aria letter so if it has a uh, 100 records or 1000 records it picks the all the 1000 records but after it picks the 1000 records it just only take the top one record and after that you are trying to find the count so for that you are getting a 1000 records objects in process objects means you are wasting your memory you are taking the cpu everything means even you are taking the resource of sql server 
so uh, if we if compare with the queryable queryable is dead it wait till end and it generates the expression like it uh, whatever the requirement you need all the requirement is converting it as expression it's going to convert as a query and it execute at the sql server level and you get the final result from directly from the sql server so i can easily say whenever you want to deal with uh, uh, like sql server link to sql or entity framework or any other data center which is data a uh, specific object framework which is implemented the iqueryable then you just go with the iqueryable whenever you want to deal with the in process like in your local list collection memory in memory collection you want to play with the memory collection loop through it and uh, read the values then is go with the i enumerable then when to use the i list i list is basically it has some additional when we when you want to add your a uh, collection in between you want to add a object remove a object or you want to pick a particular object based on the index or it means this type of things if you want to do definitely go with the i list yeah most of the time we have the debate on the i enumerable and i queryable yeah to conclude this uh, topic i enumerable you go with the i enumerable whenever you want to deal with your in process memory object collection and the way whenever you want to deal with your database uh, interaction like you know for the interacting with the database the, the especially sql a link to sql or entity framework use the iqueryable i hope i uh, i covered the iqueryable versus i enumerable versus i list when to use and which one is the right one yeah definitely i'll come up with a when one more interesting topic in my next video thank you